Christchurch kids. So today our song is Guide My Feet. Um, you might not know it, but like all the songs we sing, it's simple, easy to catch on, and I hope you'll sing along. All right, ready? Hello, I am Brandon's mustachioed friend Anselm, ready to read you some Bible stories. People say we look alike, but I don't see it. Anyways, uh, we are going to be reading the story of Joshua today. Joshua and Jericho. Can you say that with me? Joshua and Jericho. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Israelites had finally gotten to the land God promised. They stood outside the tall, tall walls of the city called Jericho. God told Joshua that it was time for them to take over the city. So Joshua told the Israelites about God's plan. Here's what we will do, said Joshua. Joshua counted off seven priests from the group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You will each play a shofar. Keep blowing all the time, even if your lips get tired. So these things down here, that's a shofar. It's like a big horn and they go Have you seen them before? Next, Joshua looked at the soldiers in the group. Grab your weapons and walk in front of the priests. The rest of you walk behind the priests. Everyone needs to walk quietly. Any questions? Okay, let's go. The horns were loud. The people of Jericho could hear them through the thick stone walls of the city. What was happening? The Israelites kept walking left, right, 
left went their marching feet around the city. The Israelites wondered how God's plan was going to work as they looked at the thick city walls. The Israelites did this for six whole days. The people of Jericho watched every day. They had never seen anything like this before. Should they be afraid or should they laugh? On the seventh day, the Israelites got up at sunrise and walked around the city seven times. I'm noticing a lot of sevens here. After the seventh time, Joshua told the people to shout right after the priests blew the horns one last time. God's plan was for the walls to fall flat when the Israelites shouted. The Israelites shouted so loud, the ground began to shake. The, <laughs> the stone walls began to shake too, and soon they started to crumble. Huge stones crashed to the ground. The wall came tumbling down. The Israelites got what God had promised. Hey, where did my accent go? Can you roll up a piece of paper to make a shofar and march around your room blowing it? Are we going to play anything other than scales? It's just, uh, these scales are super boring. Yeah, I want to play hot cross buns. <laughs> Mr. Windpipe. I think scales are a waste of time. Until you let us play songs, I'm not playing one more note of one more scale. Who's with me? I said, who's with me? Uh, yeah. 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 Hear that, Mr. Windpipe? We're going to stage a protest outside, and we'll play whatever songs we want until you let us play whatever songs we want. Hot cross buns or Mary had a little lamp? I couldn't tell because it sounded so bad. Well, we're not very good. How are we supposed to protest in song if we're terrible at music? Everyone, go home and practice. <sighs> Why do you all insist upon failing? I tried to practice, but I can't read music. And I kept forgetting all my fingerings. Yeah, it's like we don't have a strong basis of fundamentals or something. Okay, okay. Maybe we just need to start simpler. We'll just play whole notes in sequence, low to high. You mean like a music scale? Not a scale, Leo. That's what we're protesting. Just notes in sequence, low to high. <laughs> Let's move on to the blue scale. Wow, Mr. Windpipe seems really impressed with our protest. Well, we learned our scales, which is what he wanted us to do seven days ago. But he was just making us jump through hoops. We're only playing the scale so we can play songs and protest and... Oh, I get it now. I still don't get it. Can someone explain it to me? The scales only seemed boring and pointless. They were actually helping us become better players. Oh, so we should have trusted that our instructor knew what he was doing? <sighs> yes, we should have. <clears throat> What's this? Sheet music to hot cross buns? Do you really think we're ready, Mr. Windpipe?
Did you enjoy that video? I know I did. So what was Ruby upset about? Why didn't she trust Mr. Windpipe's directions? Do you remember? When have you insisted on doing something your own way? And how did that turn out? Sometimes it turns out fine. But sometimes it doesn't go so well. Now, why did Mr. Windpipe want the band to practice scales before playing songs? And what skills have you had to master in order to learn a new thing? And how did the band eventually come to trust Mr. Windpipe? So these next questions are gonna be about the Bible story we read all the way from before we watched that video a long time ago, so I hope you remember it. But what about God's directions in that passage seem to make sense? Remember they were told to march around the city and blow horns made of shofars, they're, they're like ram's horns and doing it for seven days. Did that seem a little odd to you? Could you really, could you understand why they were asked to do that? If you were trying to get into a huge walled city, would you walk around it for seven days and blow a horn and walk quietly and uh, get all the animals to come with you? Or would you just go in? If you were one of the Israelites, what questions would you have for Joshua? Would you say, hey, what are we doing here? What is, what's the point of all this? And who are people in your life who give you directions and instructions? And how do you feel about those instructions, especially when you don't understand them? How does this story show us that God was faithful to Israel? That might be a hard one, so you might need to talk to your parents about that one. All right, he's back with the guitar. That's me, I'm, I'm back with the guitar. So today's memory verse is gonna be Psalm 25, four. Show me your ways, O Lord, teach me your paths. And I think it has a lot to do with what we learned about today. And it's a prayer. Can we pray it together as we sing? Show me your ways, O Lord, teach me your paths. Ready to learn the song? Show me your ways, O oh Lord. Teach 
me your past Show me your ways, oh Lord And teach me your path All right. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. All right, y'all have a great week, and I'll see you here next time.